Thanks, everybody. Okay, we're going to switch gears now from a, a production story, which you just heard, to uh, gold exploration. My name is Sean Thompson, Vice President, Corporate Development and Investor Relations. I just recently joined the company. Um, if any of you were here for Joe Mazumdar's talk about an hour ago, he mentioned some large M&A transactions uh, spearheaded by the Australians. I was part of one of those companies, part of the team with Atlantic Gold. We got acquired by St. Barbara for $800 million. Prior to that, I was with Kamenak, uh, which had a gold project in the Yukon, which was acquired by Gold Corp for uh, half a billion dollars. I was very fortunate that the founders and the CEO, Gareth, who's at the back, um, you know, invited me to join the team at West Haven, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Please note we'll be making some forward-looking statements throughout this presentation. So the reason I joined, and, and they, had, they, were for, they were nice enough to make me the offer and take me up to tour the property, was they made a very high-grade gold discovery in October of 2018, 17 meter, 17.7 .7 meters of 25 grams gold. This is a world-class high-grade gold discovery off a major highway in Canada. That in itself is extremely rare. Uh, when I was in the vehicle, we turned off the highway. We were at the discovery hole in 20, 25 minutes. Nice road network. There was power lines up the property. So in terms of infrastructure location, it is in a very good place. It's growing rapidly. There's three vein zones discovered since that initial hole. It certainly has world-class potential. Uh, which I'll touch on in, in further slides. Large land position, and the insiders own 32% of the stock. Always nice to see shareholder alignment and that type of ownership, which you probably won't see with any of the other companies that are exhibiting here. Quickly on the management team, uh, an individual that I'll point out, Peter Fischel, the exploration manager, was with... Uh, Kupal in Russia. That's a very high-grade, large gold project. He had about 12 years experience there and is bringing that experience over to West Haven. He's largely responsible for the discovery of this gold deposit. Quickly on share structure, 96 million shares out. We do have about 6.5 million in cash. So we're fully financed. Directors of management, obviously, again, 32%. They've done very limited drilling uh, during the bear market here up until 2018 when they made the discovery. That resulted in largest drill program ever for West Haven, which we're currently engaged in. If, if we're able to generate you know, 95 million, 85 million market cap on a discovery hole in 2018 with you know, under 10,000 meters of drilling, it's interesting to me, you know, now that we've got our largest drill program, 20,000 meters, and next year we plan to, to drill a lot more if we're successful with further discoveries, what type of value can you add f with further discoveries and, and adding and building ounces of high-grade gold? We'll see. As we do that drilling, we're fortunate to be doing it at the lowest cost in the sector. We've got our... Drilling costs here versus our peer group, uh, Golden Triangle, rest of Canada, rest of the Americas. We didn't put names because we didn't want to throw some of our peers under the bus, but the average drilling costs, you know, you're 454 a meter. We're down here just over 200. Uh, you've got some up there close to 1,000. So drilling can be expensive. We're fortunate that we're able to drill at very low cost. And as the previous slide showed, we're going to be doing a lot of drilling. Here's the shovel nose property where the discovery was made in 2018. We've got an additional three properties, Prospect Valley, Skunka, Skunka North, but our focus is obviously down here at shovel nose. This is a brand new gold belt, brand new idea, brand new gold discovery in BC. It is not Golden Triangle. Two and a half hours drive from Vancouver. And again, shovel nose, which I'll touch on in this next slide, is just off the Coquihalla Highway and a nice access route to the discovery. Discovery zone is here, south zone. Very large property that's gonna be explored more. 
three vein zones, zone one, zone two, zone three, and growing. Uh, some of the high grades we're touching on, you're seeing, um, for example, seven meters of nine, 2.16 of 100. These are recent holes from this year. Uh, some further results here. You can see high grade, high grade, high grade. That's what we're looking for. This slide's very busy and I apologize, but the takeaway is simple. Thick, high grade veins, three of them now, and we're looking for more. So again, here's our property outline. A lot of land. There's the discovery zone there. This is a very busy slide again, but what we're looking for is to find more of these south zone discoveries is we're using ground magnetics, we're using soil anomalies, and we're looking for epithermal showings, which is basically rocks coming out of the ground. So we have all three of those. When we see them in combination, that's probably a very good target, and we're gonna be drilling those targets very soon. Uh, we simply put here, target A, target B, target C, Target D. Our focus now, our, our first target that we're going to drill in probably a couple weeks time is, is down here further south. So stay tuned for assays and results from that. We had some investment bankers and analysts do a bit of uh, work for us and, and some research and really the, the feedback that we're hearing out there is that uh, although we are already a 95 million market cap company, it's still really early days for us, and, and the, the thought out there is with the high-grade discovery we made and the fact that we followed it up with further holes and it's growing, what could this become? Could this be you know, another Silvercrest with an 800 million market cap or another Coupal where our geologists worked for 12 years at three billion or three and a half or one and a half? We don't know is the answer. It's a brand new gold discovery on a brand new gold belt in a new area. It's very early days. We're gonna be doing a lot more drilling to answer that question. So that's the opportunity here. Can we go from 85, 90 million market cap to something much larger from building ounces, making new discoveries on the property? Maybe, we'll see, the indications are there. This is Hishikari, uh, that's the a mine in Japan, one of the highest grade gold mines in the world. That's their rock, that's our rock, looks very similar. What we try to do with this slide is show that with Hishikari they have several vein swarms you can see all across their properties. They're close to 8 million ounces of production at you know 30 to 40 grams. We just superimposed our three vein zones, one, two, three. What could our vein zones grow to become? Could we find more across our property similar to what Ishikari has? Maybe, we'll find out. We didn't talk about our other properties here, Prospect Valley, Skunka, Skunka North, but just to give you an example, up here at Skunka, uh, there was a drill hole there that was almost 13 meters of 20 grams gold. So again, high grade gold there. Our focus is heavily on shovel nose because that's where the initial discovery was made. That's where we're building ounces and that's where we need to be focusing all our attention on. We're a small team. We're not getting a lot of value in the market from these other three deposits across the property, um, but stay tuned for what we do with those in the future. Almost done here. Uh, again, just to wrap up, very large land package on a brand new belt. District scale potential, lots of targets, lots of drilling to come, which means lots of news flow and potential for discoveries. Experience management team that's done it before and also has a lot of skin in the game with 32% ownership. So there, we are aligned with you as shareholders. That's a quick shot of the, the property there where some of the drill areas are. And that's it. Thank you very much for listening.